Hello. Fix this. Um, yeah. I can't really go back to playing video games. I don't think I'll be able to anyways. Not in the uh, recent foreseeable future. Since... Uh, I'm, okay, I'm not going to touch that. That might fuck up the mic. Um, okay, here. We play video games because it gives us a dopamine hit. Right? It's fun. It's, it's enjoyable. We have friends that do the same thing and that connects us. And we have fun doing so. Uh, which is kind of similar, similar to having friends and that do drugs and you do drugs together. I like, yeah, it's different, but it's very like the, the concept is really similar. You play games together and without games, you probably don't do much together. Uh, I know I don't, that's kind of sad. Um, we play a lot of video games like say Deep Rock Galactic for example <laughs> or Call of Duty or a, a Battlefield or a, a Rain World um, because it makes us feel like the characters in the game you know, running around uh, killing bugs uh, shooting people <laughs> God, um, but like it, it makes you feel like the um, like an alpha dude doing the the work in the in in the climate that you would do said work uh, because we usually as men are drawn to that type of thing. Um, I feel like I'm going on the wrong trail here. Um, playing games makes you feel like the character in the game. Yes. Uh, it... Because you can't feel like that in real life. That's kind of... Like, yeah, sure, you probably don't want to... Like, actually, logically, you don't want to risk your life killing bugs, mining ore for a company that doesn't care for you. It's deep recollecting. Um, but if you were in that situation, you would feel like you... Like you kind of... Like even not, not on the company scale, but you would still feel like you mattered, like you were fulfilled uh, in a way because we could seek fulfillment in uh, games. And like being a, a, a person that plays games, as in, well, I, uh, gamer... <laughs> It's it's an ambitious thing. It is uh, because like we we do these well you do these things that uh, like take work and everything. Uh, you gotta think a lot about it. you gotta put a lot of effort into it. But it's kind of unfortunate that all that ambition and effort is being wasted on something that you will never get anything actual out of but like a small dopamine hit. <laughs> um, I can't go back to playing games. Maybe, like I said, maybe in the far future or something. Um, when, like, for example, I want to play the Metro series. I want to play through that um, once I've learned Russian. Because I think that'd be like a really interesting experience, but I wouldn't do that until like uh, years from now, once I find myself to be adequately successful. You know, I earn money. I I have like a strong social life with people outside of gaming that I care about and who care about me and such. Uh, maybe a maybe a like a love life. Maybe then I'd try out playing some game to a limited extent because you can still experience a lot of interesting things that you won't experience otherwise in games and that's like fun but I'd much rather spend 
the time and effort that I'm waste that I'm spending on gaming uh, on like say this YouTube or improving myself in other facets like these books um, for the moment because that will have a like strong positive effect on my life going forward. Uh, you know, better start the exponential curve right now than later. <laughs> Let me just look at what I wrote. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I... In short, like, playing games is fun. It is. Object it, well, not objectively. It is objectively fun. <laughs> For the people that find it fun. But it's really only fun because the rest of your life isn't. Here. Um... What is it? Is it cocaine? The one that like makes you feel super fucking happy because it's like dopamine and serotonin or something. I don't know all that much about drugs, to be honest. Um, but the idea is similar. Like once you've ever had it, if that is the, the, the right drug I'm talking about, once you've had it, like nothing is ever the same. Nothing can ever reach that high, you know, no, nothing can ever feel as fun without that. And it's kind of the same with games. That's why you need to go through a like dopamine detox. A lot of people talk about that online. And it's powerful. It works really well. Because then you remove these temporary highs to... Uh, you like replacing these temporary highs that aren't doing anything for your future, by the way, um, with stuff that semi-permanently increase your baseline dopamine instead. So you just feel happy doing nothing in comparison to feeling um, somewhat happy playing video games. I'd be... Like, I want my life to be that I feel happy all the time instead of feeling happy sometimes when I play video games. And why not just do the things that are productive and make them make you happy? <laughs> like, make them fun. Here, okay. Nothing is nothing is fun and nothing is not fun. Yeah. We make it so. We it's our opinions, our views on the thing we're doing that make it fun or not fun. And why not just make everything that's good for you fun? Mindsets, people, mindsets. <laughs> um but like seriously, it's inc it's a it works. It's incredible. Um So I can't really go back to playing video games anymore because, uh, well, what I do now is just, I feel great. <laughs> I, I, I could just sit looking at a wall. I'd be feeling pretty okay. I haven't gotten like super far, like that far with my self-improvement, but I've gotten pretty far. And so I don't need these, um, quote unquote vices to uh, to feel good I can do nothing and I feel pretty all right um, which is a lot better and then I might as well be doing something that's productive because that also makes me feel even better uh, and also in the long run you know delaying gratification so I won't be able to go back to video games because they don't provide an amount of fun that's worth it if anything they'd make me feel less happy like, why level up in video games when you can level up in real life? <laughs> why why uh, earn money in Deep Rock Galactic when you can earn money in real life? Um, that's just that's way more fun. And, you know, delaying gratification. You feel way better in the future because now you've got money. A yeah, business or something. <laughs> or at least a lot of work experience. So I feel good otherwise, and when I play games, I don't feel as good uh, in comparison. That's why I can't go back to playing video games. Um, yeah. And say... Yeah, no, there wasn't much more. Honestly, I since I'm not going to be playing video games for the foreseeable future, I, I don't think I'm going to talk a lot more about video games. Because I don't really relate to them. I don't think I will anymore, anyways. 
you know, Steam, I've, I've deleted Steam. There's nothing more there. Um, uh, oh, Jesus. Whew. There we go. I hope you understand what I'm saying to you. And that you might learn a thing or two. I've talked before about how gaming and social media and such are mm, the symptoms of low dopamine and how you want to, of a low dopamine baseline, and how you want to increase your ba dopamine baseline because that just makes these. Um, to sound dramatic, heretical acts uh, less enjoyable <laughs> because your life is just more enjoyable in comparison. So you don't need it. Uh, like I said. So to stop playing video games. Start doing something. Start building a future. <laughs> You know, start working out. Holy shit, working out is fucking... It is probably the best key for... For... Well, anything, really. You learn schedule, you learn motivation, you learn discipline, you learn... How to put effort into real things. You learn that you get things from that effort. Real things from that effort. You know, muscles and... Uh, a, a good physical feeling and self-confidence and everything. God, it's amazing to work out. <laughs> I'm gonna make a video where I where I literally just talk about working out uh, and how good it is for you and what you can do. Probably, um, we'll see. I haven't come up with a plan for that one. To be fair, I didn't have a plan for this one. I, I wrote uh, just a few lines here, <laughs> and then I well, not lines. Uh, just like a few notes on the idea of what this video was going to be and then, then I start recording and I, I freestyle still not sure if that's the best way to go about this YouTube business but I want to try it and if I can get it to work then that's that's amazing <laughs> um, yeah alright I'm going to enjoy my one <coughs> kilogram of meatballs anyone who didn't believe i was swedish because of my accent uh you can now take back your <laughs> doubts <laughs> i consumed my action for power is a common trope that i stand by take care of yourselves out there i don't think i have much more to add in this one Have a good day.